Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Today I'm going to compare the Sawyer filter system versus Aquamira. Which system is best for your backpacking and hiking and adventuring? Let's find out. system is better for water filtering on short backpacks and long backpacking trips like the Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Trail, Crest Trail, I'm going to talk about in that video today. So when you're looking for what water filter system to use, you might be thinking, why do I even need a water filter in the outdoors? Well, even though you might be in the pristine mountain wilderness and all these things, there can actually be contaminates from different animals, from mining operations, from all sorts of things, and you really do need to consider a water filter or some sort of chemical treatment. Now, these are by far the two most popular, I would say, the Sawyer system and the Aquamira system. Let's get right into it. First, how much does each weigh? Well, let me break this out for you, and I will get the container out, and these two little bottles, can generate up to 30 gallons of water based on a part A, part B treatment. And I will weigh these and tell you how much they weigh. All right, they weigh 72 grams or 2.5 ounces. So let me show you there, 72 grams. Compare that to the Sawyer filter system, which has a oops, a filter cartridge, a backflow, and a hose to put on there to suck through all of which you're going to need. How much do these weigh? Let me find out. In grams they weigh, interesting, about 68 grams, not too bad, or 2.4 ounces. Let me show you here. So for weight wise, they are extremely comparable between the two, which is quite surprising considering how large these items are. But let me compare, yeah, I mean, they're, so these two are equal weights and I would say they are equal in value in the competition. Now, what about speed of getting water from these two systems? The Aquamira requires you to mix the two parts together you have to take off this lid, put seven drops of A, seven drops or A, and then seven drops of B, and let it sit for five minutes. And then you can pour that little amount of chemical into a one liter bottle, and it will be ready to drink in 15 minutes. If the water is particularly dirty or extremely cold, mountain stream sort of thing, you need to wait up to half an hour to make sure that the chlorine dioxide works in from the Aquamira. Now compare that to the, the Sawyer system, you don't need the backflow, but all you need is this straw and you can stick this onto a water bottle or suck it through, or you can use the little squeeze filter system or whatever you need. You can in fact, simply drank straight through the Sawyer, put flow, let's see where we are, you put the straw here, and you could put this directly into the water and suck out. So this is instant water. The Sawyer definitely wins on the speed. I've been out with my Aquamira system. I've had friends out and man, they've got water and boom, they're drinking immediately while well, I'm sitting here messing around with my Aquamira. Definite advantage to the Sawyer system. By the way, I didn't add the squeeze bottle or this, this filtration system to the Aquamira weight simply because you can use the Aquamira uh, or, or the, the Sawyer system without any bottles here. Granted, to carry the water, you're going to need something. So I assume that the Aquamira and the Sawyer both require a uh, water carrier, so we won't consider those. Thus, the Sawyer definitely wins on speed of instant water, 
whereas up to this is 35 minutes total time to get your water. The complexity of these two systems, well, the complexity of the Sawyer is simply that you stick it in water and you can suck it out or you can put this onto your, let's see where's the flow, you can fill this container up with your dirty water and put this on here and then begin squeezing out and then fill up your water bottle. That's typically how you would use this unit. So uh, just let me show you the actual weight of this, including the water pouch, which everybody's going to bring anyway. Uh, the total weight, eh, it's, it's still very comparable. I mean, I don't know, but about, about, about the same way. It adds a few grams in this bottle. So the complexity of this system is pretty good. However, the Sawyer requires you to back flush and back, back flush pretty routinely. What does that mean? You need to put the, fill this unit up with clean water, put it on here and then plunge out clean water to back flush any grit out of the Sawyer. This definitely requires maintenance. The Aquamira, all you have to do is mix the two chemicals together, pour it in, and I mean, it's just drop, 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 drop. No back flushing, no anything. I would argue that in total usage, the Aquamira wins in complexity because there's no back flushing. There's, no, there's nothing really to worry about compared to the Sawyer. The likelihood of failure between these two systems, well, it is possible for a filter to get clogged. That is a potential failure area. The only fail, and I've seen it, the only failure I've ever had is losing one of these bottles or having them leak out on a flight. That was kind of bad. So that is a consideration. I keep dropping stuff, sorry. That is a consideration as well. Uh, the complexity on, or the failure likelihood on the Sawyer is potentially higher, and I'll tell you why in a moment, because of freezing. Sawyer is very clear on their documentation that says, do not let this unit freeze because the water, once it gets in there, if it freezes, it will damage the unit. And Sawyer says, if the unit gets frozen, you really need to pitch it. I have used my Aqua Myra in sub-freezing temperatures. I don't know what the freezing temperature is of Aquamira, but it's worked super well. So if you are camping, backpacking, hiking, or whatever, and you expect it to get freezing, the Aquamira is definitely the winner here. Long-term performance, this Sawyer system can filter hypothetically 100,000 gallons, crazy amount. The Aquamira can do, they say at most about 30 gallons absolute winner on the high volume long-term performance of the Sawyer. Do note, however, that you must continuously back flush this to get the actual extra life out of it. So extra complexity, but huge, huge volume. The Aquamira every 30 gallons, but super, super simple. And that's the quantity of water comparison. Again, Sawyer totally wins. Aquamira, limited 30 gallons. If you're doing a long-term Appalachian Trail, you'll probably see most people using the Sawyer because they won't be in freezing. Taste of the water, the Sawyer is probably the winner again because this filters out just about everything except for viruses and it doesn't add a taste. The Aquamira gives the water like a tiny bit of chlorine taste. So something like light duty out of the tap. The Sawyer, if, if there are chemicals in here, uh, the Sawyer or the Aquamira won't filter them. So taste probably the winner with the Sawyer and not the Aquamira. Handling gritty water. You simply filter the gritty water with the Aquamira, but it could still be cloudy. Theoretically, the Sawyer should filter all the grit out of the water, but you really need to back flush it. That is a toss up between the two. Trying to get clean water is key. Maintenance, there is no maintenance with Aquamira at all. There's simply drop, 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 
use it until you're done. The Sawyer absolutely requires that you back flush this to maintain the purity of the filter system. Maintenance, Aquamira, absolutely a winner. Versatility, I think between the Aquamira and the Sawyer, they are very, very comparable because you can do higher volume faster with this, but the Aquamira has one advantage the Sawyer doesn't have for versatility. And this is the last point of this comparison is what do these two filter? The Sawyer has a 0.1 micron membrane that will filter everything but viruses. Now in North America, typically your protozoan, your bacteria are your number one danger. However, in South America and Africa, viruses are a high possibility. This is where Aquamira comes in. Aquamira kills everything. Chlorine dioxide is what the municipal water supplies of every city in the US other than reverse osmosis and uh, ozone treatment. Chlorine dioxide is the basis for all municipal water treatments in the US. Basic filters, yes they do filters, but they still use chemical treatments. So if you need to kill everything and you're going to a place where you're like, oh, I'm not sure what's going to happen, the Aquamira is your absolute best bet for kill versus the Sawyer. Now granted, both of these are arguably not as good as boiling water past, you know, and once you get the water to a boiling point, that's the ultimate kill. Aquamira, you don't have to boil the water, drip, drip, drip. That is a consideration. If you have virus concerns with the Sawyer, you better get Aquamira because the Sawyer won't take care of viruses. There you go, 12 different points of the comparison between Sawyer and Aquamira. I still prefer Aquamira because of the simplicity, I don't have to back flush. And what I do is I make water on every break. The Sawyer system, if I know I'm going fast, I just need to hit the water as I go. And I, I don't have time to wait. This is a pretty hard system to beat. They both have their pluses and minuses. As you'll check these things different. I hope you found this information helpful. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Please like and comment on the video. Let me know how I'm doing. Give me some more ideas for videos. And also please support the channel by subscribing on it. Thank you very much for watching.